kind or another. However, since the door has been opened on this, uh, let me offer my remaining time for a little bit of a rebuttal. First of all, <coughs> on an important issue to this community, growth and development, I do want to kind of set the record straight. Uh, straight. Somebody uh, said something about 40,000 dwelling units in the IBC. In fact, for almost two decades now, the city has had a cap on IBC development of 15,000 dwelling units. That was adopted on a bipartisan basis. So that's a cap. On the question of uh, the rate of growth, which is a legitimate issue for public discussion, historically it's always been my view that a, a rate of 2 to 3 percent per year was about right for building and building out our city. We're now growing at a rate of 5 percent a year. And that is, in my view, excessive, and it's not owing to anything that I have voted for of late. Let me also say that uh, um, Irvine Community News and Views is indeed a newspaper and a slate mailer. Others uh, choose to advertise, as I have from time to time in the Irvine World News, or in the register, I dare say uh, free advertising is provided in OC Weekly for some of the people on this uh, dais, uh, but not for me. Uh, if you would put up a few slides of my own here. First one, please. Now, people objecting to Irvine Community News and Views uh, Apparently, we're happy to see this mailer that arrived in mailboxes all over town. Voter warning. Watch out for Irvine Community News and Views. Has a nasty picture of me here, and my granddaughter says, that doesn't look like you, Grandpa. I said it was me um, in an unfavorable light. Uh, Mr. Will Swain writing uh, as founding editor and publisher of OC Weekly. Let's get to, get to him in a moment, but why don't we, well, let me just speak to this for a moment. It says here, Will Swain, founding editor and publisher of OC Weekly. Apparently this is the authoritative source. Former planning commissioner appointed by Larry Agron. He couldn't get it straight. I wasn't even on the council when he was on the planning commission. I never appointed him. Do I know Will Swain? Yes. But talk about making it up as you go along. That's nuts. Um, if you put on slide number one, who paid for this? This was published by a group called Taxpayers for Ethical Government on Bristol Street in Newport Beach. Well, let me tell you about this group. This was funded essentially by Five Point Communities. They put money into a group called Friends of the Great Park Education Committee, which was a sponsoring entity for taxpayers for ethical government. Five Point, the developer of the Great Park, contributed $200,000 to Friends of the Great Park Education Committee, which is listed on reports filed with the California Secretary of State as the sponsor of taxpayers for ethical government. That's actually news. Um, next slide, please. So, Mr. Swain was uh, the founding editor of OC Weekly. Uh, he's apparently the spokesman on ethics and was the former publisher of the sleazy sexploitation stab tabloid OC Weekly. I mean, look at the stuff. This is the front page. You don't want to look at the back pages. America's porn paradise, the sex issue. Let us now praise the 20 greatest adult film actors and actresses in Orange County history. We all have our favorite publications. I know some people at this dais prefer the register. Others prefer and cite time and again OC Weekly. Some of us feel it's good to see a new publication in town, whether you like it or not. 
On to the next slide, please. This Taxpayers for Ethical Government was put together by the law firm of Bell McAndrews and Hiltich, uh, LLP, based in Sacramento, I believe. They're the ones who have been at the center of all the dark money schemes that uh, wound up uh, in a million dollars in fines, about $15 million in forfeitures as a result of this stacking and laundering scheme where they take 501c4s, they stack them one on top of the other, launder the money, bring it back to Orange County, and invest it in one campaign after another, including the 2012 election here in Irvine. Let's go on, please. I'll give you two more minutes. Thank you. Uh, I'll sum up by saying uh, Community News and Views is a legally organized slate mailer and newspaper. It's like many other slate mailers. It's like many other newspapers. It combines the two. It is the place.